Hello, welcome back to Enduro 3 YouTube channel. In this uh, video, we're having a quick look at a controller I'm building up for a customer for his KR500, uh, Kempro KR500 elevation rotator. Um, I'll, I'll start with the rotator and what I've done with it. So basically, it's a standard rotator uh, controller. As you can probably see there, when it focuses, it would focus, focus, it focus. Here we are, we have the power, the up and down. This is one of the older versions, and there's so much light here, light here, I've got shadows everywhere. Um, so there we are, we have the display. And on the back, the first thing we don't, I'll probably notice is it hasn't got the terminal block. It's now got a big sh reflection. So I have a, I've replaced the terminal block with a stainless steel, um, which is etched, if you can't see it, uh, it's probably blurry as all hell, there we are. It's etched etch with numbers, and I've put a 6-pin cinch plug in there. This was originally made up for an 8-pin cinch plug, so and it still fits the 6-pin the pin one. I've also installed an, a fused IEC socket and an earth bolt. Now, in here, uh, I've installed one of my new replacement PCBs, which has the LED driver on board to drive my 12-volt uh, LED up display light up here. The board is this one here. This is a new board I've done. Uh, it's just basically an upgraded version of the original board uh, with terminal blocks on it uh, and the output, uh, 12 volt output via the uh, oops, focus, focus, camera, focus. It's not going to focus. Okay, don't focus then. It's not going to focus. Okay. So it's got a 12 volt regulator on there, uh, body regulator, and full bridge rectification. So yeah, it's, it's just uh, a much neater uh, item with uh, terminal blocks and everything on there, and all the, and, and the LED driver. So it mounts up into there. Um, I've totally rewired the whole controller with all new um, tin copper cable. And uh, basically, there we go. Right on this side, I've covered all the uh, power socket terminals up with um, I've got a, uh, a covering over the actual strap here um, and I've put coverings over uh, my heat coverings over all the 240 volt um, stuff here and same on the, on the power switch everything was in good condition this one this is one uh, in good condition this one uh, and the whole controller is in, uh, in pretty good condition as you can see so I've got my fingerprints on the bottom again like they cleaned it again damn so yeah, so it's basically just, um, yeah, big, humongous, big um, 50 volt, uh, my one that was a microfarad uh, capacitor, that's what this one had in it, so, so yeah, just uh, as it is, but it's um, basically now finished, and uh, ready to, to, to go to the customer, so basically, yeah, and even the, the actual, the terminal, the actual, um, the cover, is in a really good condition for its age. This is one of the really old controllers, and this one it's only got very minor scuffing on the on the surface, and it's been painted on the inside as well. One of the very early ones that got painted on the inside. So yeah, it's um in good good condition. So yeah, um, I'll pop on this if I can see if I can plug it in, see if I can actually show you the um, the LEDs working. It may not show it up here, but we'll give it a go. So I'll place it out of here. I'll put it in the dark here, it might actually show it coming up. There we go. Switch off. Get a bit closer. They're, they're 12 volt um, strip lights. Uh, I use these ones. I'll take this off so I don't. You probably can't see that well, but they're actually a, a, a IP67 version. I use these because they're slightly deeper, and uh, and they're pre-wired, and basically it gets it closer to here. With and so I can now stick it to the top. Whoops! I can stick it up to the, the base of the top here, and it just makes it a little bit closer. And the, the being the 12 volt ones, they're, um, that's what the display runs. Uh, display um, PCB that I put on here. Uh, power. Blah, blah, power supply I should say 
and uh, it's not too bright and it's, and it's not too dull and they're white light too as well so it's all very nice to look at so yeah without being too bright so okay um, that's just a quick run over of this um, this replacement um, controller for this customer so there we go sitting down over there put the PCB back in front to show you what I've done and uh, we shall catch the next uh, video Bye.